Hi guys and welcome to PS Tutorials. My name's Ben Taylor and today is Monday. Now if you're not familiar with us here at PS Tutorials, every Monday we give you a Photoshop tutorial that you can learn in just one minute. Now this is important for people that are really busy and don't have much time. So today's tutorial is all about learning how to create a stunning black and white portrait in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's jump in now and get started. So here in front of us, we have today's beautiful portrait image. You can download this from the comment section in YouTube. Now, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create a duplicate layer. Press Control or Command J on your keyboard. Now, to turn this image black and white, it's just one click away. So I can click here, or I can alternatively come down here to the adjustments and then click black and white. And there you go, it's done. We now have a black and white image but we can do so much more with it. These sliders give us the ability to do that. Press Ctrl or Command J and duplicate this black and white layer. And now I'm gonna show you, by moving these sliders around, you can really change the look of your black and white image. I'm moving the red around now and you can see it's really making a difference to the skin tones. You can do that with yellow as well. Now yellow and red really affect skin tones. Always remember that. There's a little bit of green in the flower, so if we push that up, we can lighten it. But there's no colour in the picture with the cyans or the blues. There is some magentas, though, in the lips. So if we push that up, you can see we're lightening the colour of the lips. Now let's click this off. Now it's important for us to go ahead and then look at the difference between the black and white image before and when we've changed it. And this is going to show you what a huge difference you can make in just one minute with the sliders in the black and white adjustment. Let's have a look at the before and the after. You can see we've really been able to transform the image just by moving a few sliders around. Now there's another really cool tool inside of this black and white adjustment. Let's show you what that is. Let's double click on it again and let's go up to tint. Click here and make sure it's selected and then double click on the square. Just by activating this little feature, we now have the power to add colour into this black and white image. Now I find just adding a little tiny bit of colour can transform your image and take it to the next level. So guys, I encourage you to really play around with these options within the black and white feature so that you can get creative and create your own beautiful black and white portrait images. So I really hope you found today's video helpful and I'm hoping it was actually fun to join along as well. Now remember guys, if you want to see more and more helpful videos, just subscribe to our YouTube channel because we can notify you each week of when these videos come out. Whatever you do today, have a fantastic day and I really hope to see you all again soon.